Medical marijuana has been promoted for compassionate use to assist people with glaucoma and other diseases. Scientific studies show the opposite is true. Marijuana is damaging to individuals with these illnesses. In fact, people suffering with glaucoma are being used unfairly by groups whose real agenda is to legalize marijuana. Marijuana does not prevent blindness due to glaucoma. Inside the eye are two fluid-filled chambers. The intraocular fluid, or eye fluid, is responsible for maintaining the correct amount of pressure inside the eye, which keeps the shape of the eye intact. This fluid is clear and watery in the front, or anterior, chamber of the eye. The larger back chamber, or posterior chamber, is filled with a thick, jelly-like fluid, which is referred to as the vitreous humor. The clear and watery eye fluid in the anterior chamber is called the aqueous humor, which is continually being formed and absorbed as it flows through the eye. This fluid is formed near the lens, flows to the front chamber of the eye, and then drains into the venous system through a tiny drainage duct. Glaucoma, which is a common cause of blindness, is a disease that affects the drainage of the aqueous humor causing pressure to build within the eye. There are many types and causes of glaucoma. Often, glaucoma occurs when either a sponge-like meshwork that filters eye fluid becomes compacted and prevents fluid from entering the duct, or when the iris of the eye covers the canal opening. In either case, the accumulation of fluid within the eye creates pressure that pushes on the back of the eye and damages the optic nerve. This nerve is responsible for transmitting the images to the brain. Over time, the increased pressure can result in blind spots and even total blindness. Appropriate therapy can halt or slow disease progression, but cannot restore lost vision. Scientists have identified more than 400 chemicals in marijuana smoke and tar. Marijuana smoke contains cancer-causing chemicals such as benzopyrene, which occurs 70% more in marijuana smoke than in tobacco smoke. After combustion of these 400 chemicals, thousands of more combustion products also appear in the smoke. Researchers in Canada report that marijuana smoke contains significantly higher levels of several toxic compounds, including ammonia and hydrogen cyanide, than tobacco smoke. The scientists found that ammonia levels were 20 times higher in the marijuana smoke than in the tobacco smoke, while hydrogen cyanide, nitric oxide and certain aromatic amines occurred at levels 3 to 5 times higher in the marijuana smoke. Glaucoma is an eye disease usually associated with an increased fluid pressure inside the eyes that damages the optic nerve, leading to vision loss or even blindness. The most common form of the disease, chronic, open-angle glaucoma, is a leading cause of blindness in the United States and the number one cause of blindness in African Americans. Studies in the early 1970s showed that marijuana, when smoked, lowered intraocular pressure in people with normal pressure and those with glaucoma. In an effort to determine whether marijuana, or drugs derived from marijuana, might be effective as a glaucoma treatment, the National Eye Institute supported research studies beginning in 1978. These studies demonstrated that some derivatives of marijuana transiently lowered intraocular pressure when administered orally, intravenously, or by smoking, but not when topically applied to the eye. However, none of these studies demonstrated that marijuana, or any of its components, could lower intraocular pressure as effectively as drugs already on the market. In addition, some potentially serious side effects were noted, including an increased heart rate and a decrease in blood pressure in studies using smoked marijuana. A wide variety of therapies are currently used to treat glaucoma, including FDA-approved drugs and laser and conventional surgery. Research to date has not investigated whether marijuana use offers any advantages over currently available glaucoma treatments or if it is useful when used in combination with standard therapies. 
The identification of side effects from smoked marijuana, coupled with the emergence of highly effective FDA-approved medications for glaucoma treatment, may have led to diminished interest in this research area. Well, there are drug therapies and, of course, uh, 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 laser surgeries. Uh, what about, you know, I, I'm going to ask a silly question. Someone asked, I, we couldn't, he couldn't stay on the line, but uh, it was a pretty serious question about the, the marijuana, and, and we've heard about glaucoma and marijuana. Is that a, a fact or fiction? Well, it's a fact in the sense that marijuana use does actually lower intraocular pressure readings. The problem with it is that the effect or the duration of the marijuana is so short that you literally would have to be awake 24 hours a day, uh, you know, using the marijuana well, in order for it to be. Well, obviously, around in the 60s. I mean, you wouldn't be able to right sleep at all. So, so realistically, it's not really a uh, uh, a feasible uh, uh, alternative for for some of the other medicines that we have. The Institute of Medicine found that THC in smoked marijuana provides only temporary relief from intraocular pressure associated with glaucoma and would have to be smoked 8 to 10 times a day to achieve consistent results. And there exists another treatment for intraocular pressure, as the availability of medically approved once or twice a day eye drops makes intraocular pressure control a reality for many patients and provides round-the-clock intraocular pressure reduction. Ophthalmologist Keith Green at the Medical College of Georgia has found the medical benefits of smoking marijuana are slight and relief is temporary. Glaucoma is a 24-hour a day disease, 365 days a year disease and you cannot get away from it, he said. But to be effective, Green said a patient would have to smoke an unrealistic amount of marijuana. If you want to maintain a low interocular pressure with marijuana, then you have to smoke a joint every 1 to 2 hours which is 10 to 12 joints a day, which is 4,000 a year, he said. That's by anybody's definition, no matter how liberal you are, a considerable consumption. His study is published in the American Medical Association's Journal Ophthalmology. With all uh, this talk about medical marijuana, I have to tell you that I also use marijuana medically. I have a latent glaucoma which has never been diagnosed. And the reason... The reason why it's never been diagnosed is because I've been treating it. But there is a reason why I uh, do use it. And that is because I like to get high. The key to it is medical access, because once you have hundreds of thousands of, of people using marijuana medically under medical supervision, uh, the whole scam is going to be blown. Once there's medical access, if, we've, uh, you know, if we continue to do what we have to do, and we will, then we'll get medical, then we'll get full legalization. Many people throughout the world suffered from the result of having glaucoma. Contrary to the best medical authorities and scientific studies, marijuana producers and users continue to give false hope to the people who suffer from glaucoma, in order to further their own selfish aims of legalizing marijuana. Marijuana producers and users hope that by repeating a big lie over and over again, that people will finally begin to believe it. Please do not fall for this sham. Please help keep marijuana illegal.